Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the return instruction and what's the functionality of the return instruction in the structured text programming. The syntax is quite simple, you just need to type return and whenever the line in which you have the return uh, instruction is executed, the execution of the POU or the function block will be terminated and the execution of the program will be uh, started or it will be continued from the uh, higher level, let's say. So if you insert the return in the main program, the execution will go to the beginning of the of the program. Or if you use the return inside the function block, the execution of the function block will stop over there and then the execution will be continued from the next line in the main program to the, where you had called the the function. Uh, let's see it in practice. Here I have made some uh, changes to the to the previous uh, program that we had. Still I have the if reset then timeout uh, equal to 10 here and at the end of the program as well here. However inside the repeat loop I have put this condition if timeout is smaller than 1 then return. So this will cause returning to the beginning of the of the main program, which is here, in the PSE underline PRG. Let's try it and see what happens whenever the value for the timeout becomes smaller than one. Okay, let's run and change the value of the start to true. So here the value for the timeout decreases by one each time and then at some point it will become zero then this uh, condition here will become true and then the execution of the uh, pro program will be returned to the here it will be returned to the first line of the code and since the condition is, is still true it will go back here and then none of the codes underneath the return will be executed so here if I click on the reset push button you will see that it doesn't affect the value of the timeout. Why? Because it's below the return. Yeah? So it never will be, this part will never be executed. On the other hand, if I modify the code in this way, if I uh, cut that part of the code from the end and paste it right at the beginning, you will see the difference in the execution. Okay, let's run it. Now the value will start to go down for the time out. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So we are here, actually. Since the time out is smaller than one, it returns to the beginning. The reset is not pressed, so this instruction will not be executed and then again we are here. But now if I press the reset you, you see that the value of the timeout becomes 10 and then the same story. Okay so this is the way that the return instruction works. You can use the return inside the function blocks or inside the main program if you wish but you have to be careful where to put it because you see that the, whenever the condition for the return becomes true the rest of the code afterwards will not be executed at all. Uh, okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to, to share the video if you think that it would be useful for someone else to watch. See you next time.